is based Brett done for? Is it a scam? Is there a rug pull? What's going on? Guys, there's a lot of FUD going on around this coin. Some may call it FUD. Some may say that it's the truth coming to light. But nevertheless, we're going to be taking a look at this coin because we covered it before. But let's just see what just happened over the last couple of days. If you're new to the channel, my name is Roshan. We cover the latest and greatest crypto news. And I try to help you guys make your first 10, 20, 50x in this bull market. So if you're new, please subscribe. If you've been subscribed for a while, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest videos. Now, guys, there's a lot of news going on about based bread. Apparently, some of the, the holders... Um, you know, 80% of the circulation was held by the owners of the coin. They dumped, they sold, which caused the price to absolutely free fall. There's still some people that are that have some hopium, right? They still think that it's going to go back up. This is a healthy correction. We're going to take a look at both sides of the picture. I don't want to give you guys a biased review on just one side, telling you guys to sell everything or telling you guys to buy everything. This is going to be the most unbiased call. We're going to go over the facts. Uh, we're going to go over what is actually going on what is the narrative around this coin and if your bags are safe right now okay and again let's hop right into this video all right guys so this is based bread it is on based obviously as the name says and in the last day down 37 percent in the last seven days down 53 percent kind of crazy um you guys know now this literally just wiped away all of the returns that it had in the in the last year you know, you get rose up to 0 0.086 down to 0 0.028, which is technically the price that it was trading at um, in the beginning of March, right? This is it's pretty insane. I don't know what to tell you guys. This chart looks pretty scary. It would, literally took a free fall. But why did that happen, right? Let's take a look at what's really going on. Here's their Twitter, guys. They've been getting a lot of lot of scrutiny on Twitter because if you guys know, Twitter is the place where all the crypto bros go, all the jeets are there and man that's where that's where the hammering really happens and truth be told it was a, it was a war field on twitter for these guys but let's take a look why right it's absolutely ridiculous okay will insider just in this was literally yes or today sorry today okay just in base meme coin brett based brett price breaks below critical support level as a development team neglects to address recent accusations so Obviously, these guys are saying that, you know, the team is too egotistical to even address these allegations that have come out. And what are these allegations you guys are probably wondering about? Well, let's take a look. Um, okay, so just in the way insider, shout out to this guy because he's doing the Lord's work over here. Base meme coin at Brett. Base Brett down 34% in the past 24 hours following report of how insiders were holding over 81% at the supply at, at of the supply at launch now here is the total market cap of this coin 235 million at least it is total 235 million now it has a circulating supply of 8 billion 500 thousand um and 80 percent of that was being held by the holders so literally guys if you wanted to do anything with this coin if you bought twenty thousand dollars worth a hundred thousand dollars worth if those guys all collectively said we're gonna sell and dump the market they could do that they have the power to do that in the snap of a finger if they sell sold their position i mean 80 percent is basically everything your 20 percent, the 20 percent of all the investors combined is not going to be able to combat that 80 percent. that is an insane red flag i don't know how nobody caught on to that earlier but shout out to whoever it was i believe it's this shady guy over here shout out to this guy as well because he is also doing the lord's work shout out to this guy so what actually happened? A thread about how Brett was not actually a fair launch and insiders were holding over 81% of the supply before most people could even buy. Before you had the opportunity to go buy the coin, me and my homies were holding 81% of it. That's ridiculous. What? People like Invest with Rex made nearly 1,600 ETH for tokens they got from marketing that were bought during the whitelist sale. Wow, that is insane. Total sniped tokens. Um, look at that. Look how much of the supply that is. 92% of the supply. Total whitelist holdings by public. What? It, that's insane. That doesn't even make sense to me. That That's pretty scary. So this is the guy that I guess he was shilling Brett and for good reasons, obviously. So if you take a look here, all these wallets that were able to uh, buy it, they kind of got... They kind of got funneled down and they all went into just one wallet over here. Rex base wallet. 
yesterday, um, yesterday, Arbiton underscore Maxi pointed out that when Brett launched, there was a short amount of time where only whitelisted wallets could buy. I looked more into it and found that the whitelisted addresses were passed into the constructor where the contract was created. Okay, so let's take a look at um, what this guy had to say. It was not a fair launch for Brett. During the first hour after the launch of only whitelisted addresses could buy, the restriction was listed an hour later. A total of 25 such addresses belonging to insiders bought 20% of the supply in that first hour. This stinks bad, to be honest. Um, that's absolutely ridiculous, guys. You know when 20% of the supply is bought in the first hour? Um especially by insiders, you know, you might want to, that raise some red flags, right? Because that's just saying these guys are probably going to dump on you to come in the future. Um, so here's the constructor address that's being there. It's showing you guys that everything is being funneled through that address. You can see all the whitelisted wallets by looking at the end of the transaction data where Brett was deployed. There was 139 whitelisted wallets altogether. 108 of them bought during the whitelist period. I, I took the time to map out every transaction made by the whitelisted wallets before trading went public and the results are insane. Over 81% of the supply was held by these wallets before anyone else could buy. Check out these transactions. This guy has way too much time on his hands because this is a ridiculous amount of work. Like, he mapped out everything. Dude, this is crazy. Shout out to Shady underscore Yoke. That is some, that is some brutal. You should, the FBI, bro, they're calling you. So these guys basically held 81 supply before these wallets went e were even live for people to buy. Invest with Rex, a TikToker that almost exclusively shows coin coins he is paid to do so. He shows them both on his TikTok and in his Instagram and in his Telegram channel. That's very interesting. So he's just calling out this person. I'm not going to get into him. Let's just take a look at the project itself because the project obviously knew what they were doing. They were paying the person, right? As a chartist. I, okay, so this, <laughs> this is the kind of funny part here, okay? Okay, hold on, let's let's actually finish this up. Whitelisted wallets sent near 2% of the supply to Rex. He began dispersing it to fresh wallets before selling and send, sending the ETH back to the wallet that received all the bread. I created a diagram where you can see all the transactions here. This is some, I don't even, that, that's crazy. This guy's doing a lot. I found his wallet off to profit. I, wa I found his wallet off of profit screenshots from some of the coins he was shilling. While he blocked out the token amount, he didn't block out the sell value or the conversion rate. I simply did the conversion that found wallets and found the wallet that had the amount of tokens. Examples. You can be sure this is his because his main wallet sends funds here as well. His Mexi address helped me find he received large amounts of tokens to shill many coins. He shilled all of these coins undisclosed on his TikTok and in his Telegram as seen the following screenshots. This is insane. <laughs> this is some crazy detective work. But on the other side of the script, guys, we got this guy over here. This guy is what you call a hopium expert, a hopium maxi high off of hopium. As a chartist, I look at the chart, obviously, and try to ignore the news. If you're ignoring the news and looking at technical analysis, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're going to fail in crypto. Brett is currently undergoing a an ABC zigzag correction, which is normal after a five wave impulsive impulsive way well the typical correction will be at least 61.8 percent but can be more due to the meme coin volatility i won't really comment what is causing the fud since i don't have the info my take on this in general is that there's always fud news in any wave too doesn't really matter what the news is the sentiment is exposed to scare investors to sell after all that's what the wave two does like all volatile assets if it can survive the wave two push then the bullish wave three awaits i have outlined the potential buy zones for those who remain bullish on brett long-term outlook Okay, that is crazy. Um, Whitelisted wallets and team wallets own 90% of supply. Hard to see this come back. I don't know what this guy's calling, talking about, saying that, you know, this is just normal technical uh, correction on the charts. Bro, throw your charts away. Throw, throw your charts away. The team holds 90% of this crypto. If they want to sell, they're going to sell. If they want to buy, the price is going to shoot up. Okay? I don't know what this guy's talking about. Anyways. Obviously, guys, I'm not here to cause fun. I'm only presenting the facts to you. You guys can make your own decision based off of that. But is this a shit coin? Is this a legit meme coin? I'm going to favor on the shit coin side. I wouldn't get involved in something like this. So be aware. Be protected. Obviously, I don't want you guys to lose any of your money. But obviously, none of this is financial advice. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.